Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander of the, of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the First Lady, the family of my friend, Mama Eileen, and your wonderful children, Joel and Lona, the Deputy President, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Cabinet, as a new leadership led by Her Excellency Martha Karua and, uh, and His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, and all the protocol of serve members of the clergy led by His Grace, the Archbishop uh, of the Anglican Church of Kenya. I really do not have much to say today other than to mention my colleagues who have joined us. But before I do that, Your Excellency, allow me to say that uh, many of us in the political circle did not know General Ogola until the day he was made the commander of the Air Force. When the appointment was done, I remember me talking to my colleagues in Parliament and asking ourselves, from where does he come from? Is he from Migori? Is he from Siaya? Because I, we had heard that there was also a General Ogola from the, those sides of Migori. Then I was told by my colleagues that actually he comes from your constituency. So I took the journey of finding out who General Ogola was. So I, I used my contacts from here and I was given his number and I reached out to him. So when I reached out to him, we, within two days, gave me an appointment. Actually, he gave me a dinner date. And we had dinner for about four hours. Because I wanted to know, this is a very big man. We don't know him. Where has he been? So he told me that he has been around serving the country in places, some inside and outside the country. So General Ogola was largely a private person. He was very private, and they did not want people to know him. At that time, I started to work with him closely on some of the development projects in the, in the constituency. And uh, I began to interest him on some of the things we could do. But we will work together with you, but I don't want people to know that I'm the one who's doing all these projects. So there are so many projects which General Gola did around here, especially in the school that he went to, Nduru Primary School. He came one day, and he began to innovate the old school. And when I visited the school, I found workers working and doing everything, but I was expecting the members of the Kenya Defense Forces to be the ones who were working on the, on the school. No, they were not. It was, the people working there were just people he had hired with his own resources. Many a times I was not comfortable with this simplistic approach to life because I could meet him around here driving in one car and I would ask him, uh, my brother, the position you hold is very big. As a Luo, you need to be very flamboyant. <laughs> and and, uh, and Ogola told me that, no, me, I'm a very simple man. Uh, I don't need people to know what I'm doing. I wanted to tell you something which uh, we used to do with him. During army recruitments, uh, people would call me and tell me, please talk to General Ogola so that we can get some of our people hired. But I developed a system where I would give people his mobile number and they would send him messages. I would tell them, send the messages, but don't say I'm the one who has, who has referred you. People, people, people who would send him messages would come back to me and tell me, by the way, Mwishimiwa, uh, General Ogola helped us. Our son was hired in the army. So that is how we related with General Ogola. He is... Uh, he uh, was a fine man, and uh, Your Excellency, let me say this. When uh, this bomber story came up, I was taken aback, Your Excellency. Because I remember during 20, 2022 campaigns, I reached out to him and told him, General, uh, can you support my campaigns? So he, he didn't say anything. He invited me to Nairobi to have a meeting with him. I thought I was going to get some money for campaigns. He gave me two hours of lecture about the code of conduct of the military. <laughs> that the military is a, a political. And it means that even his own resources, which he, he earned from the military, cannot be used for politics. So that's why when this debate that 
the general was trying to engage in what I would refer to as espionage. I could not believe it. And I want this to go on record that that General Ogola, who is seated here, would not be engaged in something like that. I want to, I want to give accolades to Your Excellency. Your Excellency, you, you earn the kudos for being the first Commander-in-Chief to make a Luo to be the Chief of Defense Forces. That, I, I give it to you. Your Excellency, there are some positions in this country that Luos will never occupy. If a Luo was in such a position, that would be a miracle. Your Excellency, the Cabinet Secretary for Treasury, that position, a has never held that position. A <laughs> Luo has never held the position of Principal Secretary Treasury. Even the Attorney General, we have never seen those positions. So I think, let us remember that General Logola is the first Luo to, to, to sit in that position. And that's why, Your Excellency, when members of my community are expressing their concern about the way, about the, way the end has come. And let us agree, my, my friends, the end is smelly. The end is smelly. The end is smelly. It's not as clean as the beginning. We would only ask you, Your Excellency, the way you broke the record of appointing him as the Commander-in-Chief, let us get the report about what happened to them, to General Logola. That is the only thing that we want. We want this thing will give us will, will give us a closure as his community. And lastly, Jim, lastly, I wanted to say that uh, uh, Your Excellency, you together with Raila Molodinga, we were engaged in the process of uniting the country through what we call the NADCO process. My majority leader, the Honorable Kumani Chungwa, is here, together with Aaron Cheriot, Senator Aaron Cheriot. They, they did a wonderful job in bringing us this document. Your Excellency, we want this document to be implemented in totality, because that is the only way for us to assure that the country will achieve unity. Let me add that uh, our, the Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, the leader of Azimio, who was part of the team that was developed the NADCO report, we would be interested in seeing that that report is implemented to totality. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Now, now, I want to just introduce members of parliament who are here. If I mention your name, please just write up. We have the majority leader in the National Assembly, Honorable Kimani Chungwa. We have uh, the Honorable Silvani Sosoro. We have the Honorable Eva Obara. We have the Honorable Christine Ombaka, the Sierra County Women Rep. We have... Uh, Felix Oduor Jalango, the MP for Langata. We have uh, the Honorable Gideon Ochanda, MP for Bondo. We have the Honorable Mark Nyamita, MP for Uriri. We have the Honorable Jared Okelo, MP for Nyando. We have Alicia Diambo.